What's up guys, my name's Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna thank you for watching and taking the time to watch the video. Uh, if you guys like this video, please click like on the video, it helps out a bunch, and subscribe to the channel. We're making great videos, might as well subscribe. Let's get into what we're talking about right now. We're talking about the drum synth suite in Ableton 11. This is something I haven't really seen too many people talk about, but this is great for a bunch of reasons. One, it allows us to create our own drum kits from scratch. There's stuff like Kick 2 and a couple of other things that where we could try to finagle our own drum sounds, but this comes with Ableton 11 and it's it's pretty good. So we're going we're going to make a sample pack ready kick drum today with only stock plugins. So we're going to speed through this thing. It doesn't take too long. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys a little bit how to use it and some of the things that I do to turn bad samples into good samples ready for the sample pack. So let's start out. This is what our sound sounds like. That's what the default sound sounds like. And we'll just resample this. So we can reference it for later. I'm going to drag this over here like that. And now let's get the. Let's actually tighten that loop up a little bit. Bring that decay down. We don't want all of this tail here. I want this to be a short kick sample. So the drive kind of gives it, makes it a little bit hard style-y. But we don't want that. We want, we're, we want to use, let's use a saturator. So when we get, bump that drive, we're getting that sort of sweepy sound. It's not really a kick really sound like a kick too much and that's coming from the envelope so we'll bring that envelope down we want that attack to be at zero so we get that snap that transient let's add some erosion and we're going to add that on the super high frequencies there put it before the saturator so we get some of that distortion coming through Let's add a glue compressor here, turn up that ratio, bring that release down some. Let's add a drum bus as well. And since we're only using stock stuff, like I'm only gonna be using the transient controller built into the drum bus, but there are other transient controllers like the kilohertz one is one I use all the time. It's such a great transient shaper and that's what I'd be using here on my drum chain. So right here is where I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. Now I'll probably layer this with a hi-hat and just replace this with the HH, which is the hi-hat. We want that decay all, almost all the way down. You hear what that does? Kind of gives it that little extra snap at the beginning. And we'll group those, process them together. Normally I would just export those and key label it, but just for our purposes here. And one last thing we could do too is we could EQ this kick, which is super important. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a bump here at the 100 hertz range. We'll create a new channel here, resample, and we create our own kick sample. And we could get creative and make a whole different, like a whole bunch of other types of kicks. I just wanna show you guys how to use this thing and how to get the most out of it too. There's a lot of different areas we can go. And next, maybe next time we could do it in context. And maybe we'll make some snares and some some claps and and uh, maybe we can make a whole drum kit in the future who knows anyways thanks for watching the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it. hopefully you learned something and we'll see you next week peace